What is up guys? Justin here with a pickups video for you today. Got a lot of really nice stuff to show you guys in this video. Bunch of cool Super Nintendo, um, some NES, some Game Boy stuff for my collection, along with just a bunch of like odds and ends that are going to be really fun to uh, show you guys and kind of talk about throughout this video. So just to kind of set this up, this was really like an extension of a much bigger deal that I did back in December with a local gentleman who um, I've dealt with a number of times before. You know, he's bought stuff from me, I bought stuff from him type thing. Uh, I kind of actually knew him before we started wheeling and dealing games. Uh, I went to high school with him, just hadn't really kept up with him since then. So anyway, like I said, back in December, uh, Ryan and I went and checked out this huge collection he had of, it, it was mostly older stuff like Atari um, and even older um, Odyssey, uh, Intellivision, ColecoVision, I mean that kind of stuff. Uh, and we ended up making a massive deal for that stuff and I kind of regret not doing a video back in December when we picked that stuff up. It was just, it was honestly just too much stuff and it was just poor timing for me to try and do a video for it. But I did take pictures of everything that I got and so I'll be kind of showing those pictures throughout this video because a lot of the stuff I got here, like I said, is kind of an extension of that previous deal. So I did pull out a few of the highlights from that from that last deal um, to show you guys here a few things that I was keeping from my collection and stuff that um, I kind of wanted to highlight. Um, the first thing I, I got that I kept for my collection was this Game & Watch. It is uh, the Bomb Sweeper Game & Watch. Uh, this is the first Game & Watch that I've ever owned, and it's in pretty nice shape. Um, I had to order some batteries for it takes like those button cell batteries, I forget, LR44 batteries, I guess. And so I ordered some, I popped them in, it works great. The only weird thing I noticed about it is that there's no on and off switch on it. And so I thought that was kind of weird because, you know, once you put the batteries in, I mean, it just essentially stays on. And I can't imagine that the game eats up too much, you know, battery because it's just like a LCD game or whatever, but... Uh, I just thought that was kind of weird. I'm assuming the batteries last a pretty long time, but I took them out just so I'm not wasting them because I don't plan on playing this every day, but uh, a cool collection piece there. Uh, a couple NES games here. Um, this one I, I ended up keeping for my collection, a unlicensed Comerica game, Linus Spaceheads Cosmic Crusade. It's not in great shape. It's kind of got that, you know, just like the Zelda gold cartridge, you know, it gets like worn and the paint or the finish starts to wear off or whatever, but uh, it's collection worthy. I held on to that one. Um, this one here, which I actually already had, so this was a double, uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes for the NES. Not one I ever see. And then for the Genesis, there was a complete copy of Shadowrun, which this was a double for me as well. Um, I already had this one. Um, I did a condition comparison. I can't remember if this was the one I originally owned or if the one I already had was better, but uh, either way, there was a complete copy of Shadowrun in there. And then this here, which... I really don't know a whole lot about, but it is very intriguing. It is a Bali Videocade demo, brand new, factory sealed, and I don't know a whole lot about this. Um, I'm assuming it's for like a Bali Astrocade or whatever, um, some kind of demo apparently, but there, I mean, there's nothing on the back <laughs> or anything that explains what it is, so I did some research online. I didn't find a whole lot. I found a few pictures of other ones, but... As far as like a price or like a rarity or something, I, I have no clue. So if anybody knows any more about this, uh, feel free to drop a comment and let me know. I'd be very, very curious about this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so those are just a few of the highlights from that first initial deal. I got a ton more stuff than that. But uh, like I said, throughout this video, I'll kind of be throwing up some pictures and stuff for you guys. Um, and you'll see most of what I got in that, that first deal. So let's hop into some of this other stuff here. There's going to be no rhyme or reason to this because this is such a random assortment of stuff that <laughs> it's just, it's, there's no order that I can possibly go in. So I'm just going to start with what's in front of me here. A couple Nintendo Power magazines. Um, I think I already have these. This one I recognize and I'm pretty sure I already have it. Um, I'm not sure about this one, but uh, I'll double check after this video. Um, they're pretty beat up, but they both still have the posters, so they were just kind of like a throw-in, so I was like, sure, I'll take them. Uh, next up, we have, I guess let's show the Atari stuff. Um, I got a ton of Atari stuff from him the first time around, um, but this time around he was willing to part with a few more of his more obscure Atari games, um, and I got a few of them here in this really cool Atari... Um, binder, I guess, is what you'd call it. 
I mean, it's like, it's one of these things, yeah, I'll show you guys, it flips open here, and you can put like eight different games in here. I don't want to tip it all the way up because I'm afraid they're going to fall out, but uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty, pretty sweet. I've never seen one of these before. And uh, so let me take these out here and we'll show what I got. Uh, Air Sea Battle, uh, this one's pretty common. I just, I don't think I've had it uh, before. We got Airlock, Sword Quest Fire World. Um, this one here, which I think is pretty obscure, but not very expensive, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Walt Disney game. Uh, we got Solaris, Midnight Magic, Spider Fighter. Um, and I got the boxes for a few of these, which we'll get to. They're kind of buried under everything else. Um, we got Towering Inferno. He had a couple copies of this, and he also had a couple copies of this, so he was willing to sell me one. Uh, Gremlins. For the Atari 2600, which he looks like he got for 55 cents. It looks like a thrift store price tag. Um, from December 6, 1999. Um, so, this is cool. I've never even heard of this game before. And like I said, he had two of them. I think it's like a $30 or $40 cartridge. So, um, he gave me a pretty good deal on it. I'll let you guys know, of course, what I paid for everything at the end. But, um, yeah, I think that was all the Atari stuff anyway. I want to make sure I don't break this, putting it back together. Um, but while I'm kind of getting this out of the way, let me show, pop up a picture for you guys of all the Atari stuff I got from him um, the first time around. And there was some really obscure stuff in here. Um, he had probably like 200 Atari games. And I would say like half of them I had never even heard of before. Just super obscure stuff. And I can imagine that there's, there's quite a bit of value there. Um, so he kind of sorted through, and, and these are the ones that you're seeing here, the ones that he was willing to sell me. Obviously, he was willing to part with a few more this time, but he still has a bunch of really nice Atari games that I, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. I, I think it's just a, a matter of time. So let's move on uh, next to some Intellivision stuff here. Um, I didn't get a lot from him this time around because most of his Intellivision stuff I bought back in December. I'll show you guys that in a second, but we got B-17 Bomber. We got Dracula, which I think is worth a little bit, and we got Checkers here with the overlay. So let me show you guys another picture here of all the Intellivision stuff that I got from him last time. And actually those three games I just showed, I'd gotten the boxes for uh, from him in our last deal, and you know I, had, I didn't look in them until just recently and realized they were missing cartridges, so it was cool when I went back there. I found the three that you know were probably supposed to be included the first time around, but yeah, just a ton of box and television stuff, and I, I wish I had more to say about it. I just, I'm not super knowledgeable on the Intellivision stuff. Like I said, I think that Dracula one is, is worth a little bit, but um, other than that, um, I'm not real sure. And so I do have a, a, some more box and television stuff um, to get to. Uh, it's in the bottom of one of these boxes. So like I said, no rhyme or reason here whatsoever. But uh, let's move on to a few quick NES games here. Um, a couple of these, Pinball and uh, Kung Fu, he had actually bought from me at the uh, last local sale that we did. And it turns out there were doubles for him. So since he was giving me such a good deal on all this stuff, I just offered to buy him back from him since he didn't need them. And then he also sold me um, Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. This is a cheaper one, but not one I get all the time. Uh, we got a Mario Paint mouse here. And he also had <laughs> the original Nintendo mouse pad for it. So I, I see the mouse is the mouse is, the mice pretty often, but I rarely ever see the mouse pad. So I have a copy of the game to pair with this and kind of make it a, a complete bundle there. Uh, next up, we got some Game Boy stuff. So there are some really nice games in here, and um, I do have some box Game Boy stuff as well that we'll get to in a minute. But we'll start out with the system here. This is like a four-part system. We tested it while I was over there, and I didn't actually see what the issue was, but. He told me it didn't work, so it was kind of just like a freebie. And some of these games, though, I'm pretty excited to add to my collection. This one, I think I already have, Star Trek The Next Generation. And, uh, hey, look, <laughs> Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. So we got the, this one last time, and then we got the Game Boy version this time. Uh, we got Wario Land here. With the, um, that one had the manual with it as well. Uh, we got Kid Icarus. Uh, needs a little cleaning. I can't remember if I have this one or not. I want to say I, I already do, but I will double check after the video. These two, though, I definitely did not have. Uh, nor have I ever heard or seen these heard of or seen these games before. Uh, we got Doctor Franken T. 
2. I don't know anything about this game. Like I said, never heard of it before. I'm assuming there was a Dr. Franken 1 on the Game Boy at some point. But uh, this is the second one here. Definitely adding that one to the collection. As well as Ultima Runes of Virtue 2. Really nice shape on this one. What is in here? There's a... Oh, it must have been like a rental or something at some point. There's a little pamphlet in here with the microscopic instructions on it. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be a nice one to add to the collection as well. Uh, and then also for the Game Boy, there was a couple of Game Genie, um, just like the little, speaking of microscopic, the little tiny uh, code books that came with the, <laughs> the uh, Game Genie for the Game Boy. Um, so that was all for this box here. Um, before I get into all of the boxed games that I got, I'll quickly show there was some N64 items. Um, no games, no system, but there was an empty system box. Um, and this is definitely empty. Um, actually, I think the instructions or the instruction manual was in here, but there's no styrofoam or insert or anything. So kind of just a display box as it sits, but uh, it's in decent shape. It's got a rip on the back by the flap here, but... Um, but it's in decent shape, so eventually I'm sure I'll find something to, to do with that. Um, and there was this N64 plastic case. I like getting these to put, you know, my more expensive N64 cartridges in. So I've got a few of these already, but um, can always use more. So anyway, let's move on to the boxed games. Like I said, a lot of really cool uh, stuff in here. And so I guess a lot of these, at least like the Nintendo stuff, um, was actually, I guess, his dad's stuff. And uh, this was kind of like a cash trade deal that I did with him. And I was able to, to hook this guy's dad up with um, a game that he's been looking for for a long time. I, I traded it out of my personal collection um, just because... Oh, well, I'll explain it all at the end. But this stuff here is a lot cooler than, than at least in my opinion, than the game that I <laughs> traded for it. Uh, so, um, since we just showed the Game Boy stuff, let's... um. Let's show the box Game Boy games first. There was just two of them here. Uh, Ren and Stimpy Space Cadet Adventures. This was cart and box, I believe. Um, and I'm not sure. I know I don't have the box for it, but um, I don't remember if I have had the cartridge yet or not. I think I did. Um, but this will be an upgrade then, so I'll keep the box. Um, this one, I think, yeah, I already have this one complete. Um, Yoshi. And this was cartridge, box, and manual. So that one's fully complete. Um, it's not in great shape, but uh, it's always nice to see the box Game Boy stuff. So I think that was all for Game Boy. Um, let me let me save the Nintendo stuff for last. Let me just quickly show, I got a bunch of box like in television um, and some Atari stuff here as well. Um, so these four I'm going to show were all had, all had cartridges in them. Um, so this is, I don't even know, I'm assuming this is Atari, yeah. Uh, Nexar, SpectreVision game. Some of these, like, it isn't really obvious if it's an Atari or uh, an Intellivision game. Um, I guess, I mean, that one has a picture of an Atari on the back, so that's a giveaway. Um, this is an Intellivision uh, Hover Force. And, um, yeah, let's make sure. The games were so light, it's sometimes hard to tell if there's actually a cartridge in it or not. But, yeah, that one was in there. Uh, we got Happy Trails. Uh, also an Intellivision came here. I'd never heard of this one before, so... Uh, I think this one was, was fully complete. Yeah, it looks like it's got the overlays and stuff and the cartridge in there. And then we got Journey Escape. This looks like a, an Atari game as well. So I'm going to quickly rattle through some boxes here. Um, all this stuff was just box only. Uh, we got Skiing for the Atari, Dig Dug. Um, actually, I guess some of these have manuals in them as well. Uh, Venture, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, we got Junior Pac-Man. Uh, Spider Fighter, I showed the cartridge earlier for that one. Uh, Space Jockey, which a lot of these like this one, I, I got the cartridges from him last time around. And I don't know if he just hadn't found the boxes yet or what, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Space Jockey. Uh, we got Star Master, Jungle Hunt, and Pole Position. So that was all for like the older, you know, Atari stuff and whatnot this time around. Um, as I'm clearing some room here, I'll put up some pictures of all the other old school stuff that I got from him last time. There was some really nice stuff in there. Um, just old consoles. There was a bunch of like, Ode like original Odyssey stuff. 
Um, I got a few systems from them. I think a couple were for parts, but um, I got this really cool like travel case boxed Odyssey system. Uh, I had never seen anything like this before. It had like the system in there in like this custom fit hard plastic travel case. It had all the screen overlays like in the top of the case. It was like almost looked like a like a sewing kit or something <laughs> the way it was laid out. But it had like all like the paper money in there and stuff and uh, it's just super cool. I'd never seen anything like that before. And some of the systems I got from him as well, I had never even heard of before. Um, you know, I, I thought I had at least heard of, of all that older stuff, but some of the stuff he was pulling out of his basement, I was like, Ryan and I were just looking at each other like, what is that? Uh, so, anyway, let's move on now to the uh, Nintendo stuff. And as I say that, I see one Genesis box in here, Vector Man, so we'll get that out of the way. Um, I can't quite see. It's covered up over there. I don't know if I already have this. I want to say that I do, though. Um, but yeah, Nintendo stuff. Um, oddly enough, some N64 stuff here. Uh, we got the box and manual, I believe, yeah, for 1080 snowboarding, which um, I don't think that I had this yet. So I will be keeping the box for this for my collection. Um, this one I already have, but this one's in really nice shape. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And I think... Almost feels like there's a cartridge in here, but I don't think there is. No. Um, but it looks like all the manuals and stuff are in here. This is a really nice condition box. Um, so I have a feeling this will be a condition upgrade for me. Um, some NES boxes here. We got Pinball. Not in very good shape. Um, just feels like it's box only. Super faded on the front. I don't know if I will hold on to that one. Um, but we got some rentals here. These ones did have cartridges in them. Uh, Dick Tracy. I don't think I had this one. I had the cartridge, though. Yeah, these are going to be really rough, though. Um, you know, they were rentals, so I'm sure they all have, like, stickers on them and stuff. Um, I'll try and clean them up, of course, but I don't know if any of these are going to be collection-worthy. Uh, we got Eliminator Boat Duel. Is this the one that had the misspelling on it? Uh, I want to say that it was, but I can't tell because it's covered with the Blockbuster sticker. Uh, and we got 3D World Runner. This one also feels like it's in here. Yeah, and, uh, well, I was going to say, no sticker on this one, but it's got a name etched into it and Sharpie all over it. Jim's Video Placements. Huh. Interesting. Uh, a few more NES games and or boxes here. We've got The Legend of Zelda. This is the Classic Series one, so I guess this was the, uh, the gray cartridge. Um, there's a dust sleeve in there, but no manual or anything. It's pretty worked anyway. It's missing the tabs and stuff on the top. Otherwise, I would have probably kept this one, but um, yeah, it'll be an extra box for me. Um, Tetris. This is another one that I think he bought from me at one of our previous local sales, and uh, I don't know if he just didn't realize he had it already or, or found his after the fact, but I pretty much just bought this back from him. Uh, we got Bionic Commando. This one is, uh, it's got the tabs in there. It's pretty work, though. I don't know. I can't remember if I already have this one or not, but um, yeah, it's, it's complete. This one, though, I definitely did not have, and this is one of my favorite parts of this deal. We have a boxed, and I think complete, I'll open it in a minute here, a uh, copy of Raid 2020 for the NES, uh, a Color Dreams game. It still has the plastic on the box here, although the box is oddly like worn underneath the plastic, and I can't tell if it's a reseal or what. Um, I'm not that concerned about it because it's it's obviously opened. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, here is the minty minty cartridge. A lot of times you see these unlicensed games and they weren't necessarily the highest quality um, when they were produced. So, the labels on these get jacked up really. So this one is like super mint. And I want to say this one had the manual. Let me see, looks like it. Yeah, Raid 2020 manual. So. Um, this is a cartridge I did not have yet, um, so I will definitely be adding this one into the collection. Let me carefully put that off to the side here. And we'll move on to, lastly, the Super Nintendo stuff here. So a lot of these are just boxes and or box and manual, um, but a lot of these I needed for my collection. So this was, you know, my other favorite part of the deal, I guess. Um, we have a mint condition Uniracers box here, which I want to say I already have. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. But um, I don't know. I'll do some condition comparison after this because this is pretty minty. 
Um, this was box only. There was nothing else in there. Um, this one did have a cartridge. It is Earthworm Jim 2. Another one that I think I already have, um, and I think mine's in a little better shape. Um, I know the cartridge is in better shape because <laughs> this one was a rental. It's kind of messed up on the top there. Family video rental, it looks like. Um, the box isn't in horrible shape, um, but it's definitely not great. And like I said, I, I think mine was better. This one's got like a big dent on the top here. Uh, we got a mint condition Judge Dread, And oddly mint condition because it looks like this was a rental as well. Um, I guess it's not that odd then. I'm sure they didn't rent out the actual box, but um, yeah, it's got the looks like a family video sticker on the bottom there. Um, no cartridge in this one, but it looks like oh no, it's got like the it's got the uh, cardboard insert and just like the precautions manual here. Um, but I think I already have this one as well, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, NBA Jam. Not the tournament edition. This is super minty. Um, and it feels like there's a cartridge in this one as well. And a manual. And a poster. <laughs> Manual's a little bit worked on the top there. But uh, let's see. Oh, and a baggie. This is like brand new. <laughs> brand new aside from like the shrink wrap. So um, I don't remember if I already have this one. I think I do. But I can guarantee this one's uh, in better shape than mine. Here's one that I'm real excited to add to the collection. Feels like there's a cartridge too. The Lost Vikings. Um, it looks like a Blockbuster rental. June 1994. They bought it for $29.99. And uh, let's see. I, I don't know if there's a manual in here or not. But no, no manual. But it's got the precaution stuff and the cartridge. And actually, I think I already have a manual for this. Because I used to have a box copy that was in really, really, really bad shape. So I got rid of the box a long time ago, but I kept the cartridge and I believe the manual. So this one should be complete now for me. Uh, we got a box for Total Carnage, which unfortunately has like some, looks like packing tape across the front, which I didn't notice before. But if I'm super careful, I might be able to get that off of there. Um, I definitely, I shouldn't say definitely because I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I have this. Don't think I have this box yet. Um, it is just the box, though, no manual. It's got the cardboard insert in there, though. But um, assuming I can get that tape off of there, this will be a cool one for the collection. We got Mech Warrior here. Uh, not in very good shape, though. This one is pretty crushed on the top. Uh, this one looks like it was a Blockbuster rental as well. Only $10.99 for this one, though. Um, and yeah, there's nothing in here except. Uh, cardboard insert and uh, the registration card is in there as well so I don't know if I can flatten this out um, I might be able to get it looking a little bit nicer uh, probably my favorite Super Nintendo item in this deal was this box and manual for Super Turrican so I actually don't even have this cartridge uh, currently and some of you might remember I did used to have a copy of this. There's the manual there. Um, however, I got rid of it a while back. I had a box copy of it, but the box was in really bad shape. It didn't have a manual, and the cartridge had like names like physically etched into the plastic. So I, I, I just couldn't justify keeping that one. So I got rid of them because I was hoping out in the future I would find a better one. And here it is. So I just got to find a cartridge for it. I don't think the cartridge itself is super expensive. You know, around thirty, maybe forty dollars for a really nice one. So. I will definitely be adding that cartridge to my wanted list <laughs> to complete that one. Uh, we got Maximum Carnage here, Spider-Man Venom. Uh, the one, this was the one with the red cartridge, I believe, which looks like I have the cartridge over there. I can tell because it's like the only red cartridge. Um, I think Doom had a red cartridge as well. I don't know if I have that one up here or something, but yeah. I'll look after the video so I'm not boring you guys with that. But um, this was just the box, I believe. Yeah, there's no... No manual in there, um, but yeah, I'll be uh, hanging on to this, I'm sure. It's got some sticker residue on the back. I'll have to clean that off. But, uh, we got NHL 95. Not too exciting, but in really nice shape. Um, it feels like there's manuals and stuff in here. Yeah, it looks like the manual and yeah, it looks like the manual and possibly a poster. Yeah, a poster with like stats and stuff on it. So. Um, I think, I don't know if I already have this box. I have all my sports boxes like folded up and, 
and put away. I don't really keep them up here on the shelf because just the EA boxes are not that exciting to look at for the most part. Um, here's one that I think I already have as well, but this is minty. Uh, time Slip. Uh, I can't imagine this is a very common box. I know it's not a very common game. I mean, it's not expensive or anything, but I, I, I don't think I've ever had another copy of this game other than the one that I own. So, um, yeah, uh, no manual, unfortunately. But it's got the registration card, and there's a baggie in here, <laughs> and the cardboard insert. So I'll do a condition comparison, but I'm pretty sure this is better than mine. Uh, just a couple more here. This one feels like it's got a cartridge. Super Street Fighter 2. And I don't think I have this one either. I might, but um, I get confused which Street Fighter games that I had because there was like, what, three of them, four of them on the Super Nintendo? Um, but yeah, there's a cartridge there, really nice. Got the registration card. No manual, but I might have a manual for this one already. I, I'm not sure. But yeah, this box is super nice. And then the last thing I have to show here, um, I think, yep, yeah, is copy of MTV's Beavis and Butthead. So, this one feels like it has a cartridge in there. I don't think I have this box, though. Um, yeah, there's the uh, cartridge in there. No manual, um, and I don't think I have one, but uh, this will be a nice box for the, uh, for the collection. So, um, that was everything that I got from him this time around. If there's anything else that I got from him last time that I forgot to show earlier, um, I'll put that up for you guys right now so you can take a look at, at everything. But, yeah. What did I pay for all this? Um, well, like I said, it was a cash trade deal. Um, we had kind of been working out this deal for like a really long time. Yeah, the last local sale that we did, I'd got to talking to him about some of this stuff, and he mentioned that his dad had all these boxes that, you know, they obviously kept the games for a lot of these, um, and they still play them, which is awesome. Um, but they weren't so attached to the boxes, so that was awesome that they were able to, to part with them and that they ended up, you know, in my collection. So, anyway, um, he was really looking for a copy of ActRaiser for the Super Nintendo and a copy of Contra for the NES. Um, Contra I have extra copies of. ActRaiser I did not have extra copies of. Um, I was supposed to get one back during the holidays from GameStop during the oh, when I bought all those games um, when they were doing those sales online. But ActRaiser was like one of the two that they must have ran out of stock of or whatever because they just canceled my order and refunded me, which was nice, but, you know... I guess at this point I would have rather had the game because then I would have been able to trade him that one instead of trading him <laughs> my personal copy, which I did, but I didn't mind too much. I mean, I can go buy another one. What is it, like a $25, $30 cartridge? Um, and they, they his, him and his dad really wanted it to play it, so I was like, you know what, I'm not attached to my cartridge. Um, this stuff that I got is much cooler, in my opinion, and I can buy back an ActRaiser cartridge. So I traded them a copy of Contra, a copy of ActRaiser, and I gave him uh, his asking price uh, on everything, which was $80, um, which was pretty sweet. Um, you know, we were kind of totaling everything up as we were going through it. I wasn't sure how much the total was going to be, um, but it ended up totaling. Like, his asking price was, like, you know, just over 100 bucks. but he, he was nice enough to cut me a deal. He said, you know, 80 bucks and those two games, and, uh, and we can call it a deal. So uh, much appreciated uh, to him for, for hooking me up with a sweet deal on this stuff. And... Like I said, he's got a ton of other stuff still. Um, I've got most of the stuff I think that, that I, I want from him, but there's there's a few more Atari games, a couple more stacks of Atari games that he has, just super obscure stuff that I would love to get my hands on. And I'm sure I will at some point, and I think he knows that too. He's just kind of like not willing to get rid of everything all at once, but he knows eventually that, you know, <laughs> maybe he wants to play them one last time, and then he said he's going to hit me up and, and sell me the rest of them. So uh, maybe at some point in the future I'll end up doing a, uh, a follow-up video with the rest of the stuff from his his collection so anyway i want to thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this entire video and until next time take care